Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for Wednesday, December 7th, 2022. Well, doggone it, those bears uh, found inspiration yesterday to continue to push, and we're really at some critical levels here in the chart. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. First off, we've we had uh, just um, some follow through what's happening right now if you haven't been paying attention to the news is that fears we're seeing a kind of a parade of uh, financial institutions um, company ceos coming out a warning of a 2023 recession we see the financial the big financial institutions are starting to batten down the hatches um, worried about um, this scenario that could be setting up for next year and the fact that we um, have been so extended particularly here in the Dow so extended to the upside that does raise some concerns and um, certainly brought out the bears yesterday so uh, let's take a look now if you guys remember what I what I talked about yesterday is if we were to um, continue to find bearish inspiration and we didn't bounce right here in this area yesterday then I suggested that we would come down here and test this support level now if you look closely we have virtually given up that big bullish move that we had here on uh, the Powell speech we've kind of given it up but the good news is, is we're kind of hanging in here right on some little price congestion. So we haven't quite given up um, the ghost yet here. We're hanging in here on this level, but we're definitely going to need those bulls to find some kind of inspiration to push us up off of that area. Because if we were to fail this area, then that does create some critical situations in, in the chart. And I suspect the next level of price support would be down in here um, to try and catch us in the Dow. So we'll want to watch that carefully. We'll also want to be keeping in mind that this upside trend that we've been kind of enjoying in here, however you may draw that, well, we kind of gave that up yesterday. Um, now, we have been way overextended here in the Dow. And as a matter of fact, this pullback actually resolved quite a few problems in removing some of that frothiness from the Dow. But unfortunately, we didn't have quite so much frothiness in the other indexes. And so let's take a look at those here really quick. If we take a look at the SPY, obviously the SPY has been moving up in an upside trend. And um, we did get kind of short term overextended with that big pop that we had on that Fed speech. But if you'll notice here in this chart, some critical things are starting to occur here. We push down into this price support level where we have all of that little price congestion in there and tested it hard yesterday by the close. I'm going to draw a nice straight line across here. And what you're seeing right now in the pre-market is a little bit more bearishness in here showing up, which may create that situation where we break um, a pretty substantial level of support in the chart. Now, watch right here. If I slide this line down just a little bit more, we've got a touch more price support in here, as you can see, right across these levels where we've tested, right through here, we've got a bit more price support that could hold us. And we're gonna, looks like we're testing that here in the pre-market to see whether that's going to hold. If that fails, well, I gotta tell you, there's not a whole lot left here 
to uh, for the market to hang on to and I think we would come down into a price level maybe down into here so we're gonna have to watch that closely we need to see those bulls step up and defend or those bears are likely to become pretty emboldened and really start to push for a more downside so watch that closely here as well where we're kind of giving up that little upside trend here um, in the SPY. So a little bit more on the critical side here on the SPY. Now you'll notice here in our technical patterns our 50-day moving average is substantially lower and that line that I had drawn in comes very close right in here getting us down there around that 50-day moving average again. So uh, we'll have to keep an eye on that. Now if we take a look at our NASDAQ, our QQQ, it's probably in a, well, one of the most critical places here um, we've seen in a while in the NASDAQ. Notice right in here, quite a little bit of price support. We pick up all these price levels throughout this chart right in here. And we tested that level hard yesterday um, into the close. And now we seem to be slipping beyond that just a little bit here this morning. So. The problem that we have here in the Dow is if those bears continue to find that inspiration, then we're going to be looking for a move down into some support levels down in here and then maybe down into here, which really kind of um, lends that idea that we could easily see new lows um, after uh, failing this price resistance in the chart. Now, if those bulls find inspiration, they defend here. Just keep in mind, we have a pretty wide range chop zone here. We could rally back up and test some resistance in that area of the chart, which would be a fairly big point move. And then beyond that, of course, we see that we know where those price resistance are. So watch that closely. Now, on the technical side here as well, if we look, we're coming very, very close to that 200-day, 50-day moving average. If that holds, we may be in good shape. If we can get a bullish defense of that area, we may be in good shape. But once again, if we were to fail through, fall right on through that area, then there would be a problem here. And there may be reason for that. We're seeing um, numbers out of China not looking good at all. As a matter of fact, really ugly um, over there in China. Um, and um, we're seeing some bearishness. We saw some heavy bearishness in Asian markets last night. We have some bearishness in European markets this morning. So we may have some of that inspiration to continue to embolden those bears. We'll have to watch this pretty close. If we were to take a look at our IWM, we had kind of a critical thing going on here in IWM yesterday. First off, if we draw a trend line up here, well, we kind of broke that trend um, yesterday and unfortunately we cracked that support level all of this congestion area right in here we cracked down through that um, and as you can see we're getting a little tiny bit of chance of follow through here this morning so where do we go from here well i think if those bears really find that inspiration we do have a little bit of price support you can see these low levels right in here and these high levels right in here it's a little bit of a wide area where we could maybe find support somewhere between here and here so we've got a little bit of a range in here that we could move around in iwm but the other thing that's pretty critical here in this chart is that we failed um, at the downtrend failed at the downtrend with a little double top failure pattern here not the best of circumstances so if those bulls can find inspiration they need to step it up here pretty quickly and we still want to remember that even if they do we just have created some um, resistance here in the chart that could be substantial so watch that close now if we take a look at our VIX we've been seeing our VIX very very complacent here um, recently um, as if there was just nothing in the market to be worried about and what we're hearing from all these company CEOs and and um, the big financial institutions is well there are some things to worry about and what we have seen uh, what we saw yesterday is a little bit of that fear spike back up in here but it wasn't so bad to really say you know run for the doors I didn't see any panic um, in that move albeit we are testing 
some price resistance levels in the chart trying to break through that downtrend this really won't become critical unless we can actually hold that downtrend as a support or even stretch on higher and hold up above here so right now a little bit of uncertainty coming into the market um, adding some stress and pressure in here we need to see those bulls step up and fight um, at the support level or those bears could really create some damage here then let's take a look at our uh, t2122 now what i suggested before is that there was actually some good news in the selling here because the good news is is that we we really uh, pulled back on that um, overbought frothiness here in the market over the last two days. We have been lingering and lingering and lingering up here in this bearish reversal zone. And now we've kind of broken that um, to the downside here. Now, what T2122 tells us is that unfortunately, we haven't quite completed that process. Um, we still have room. If the bears find more inspiration, we still have more room to the downside here, as you can see, to reach that oversold condition in the market for the short term. Now, if those bulls find inspiration, we still have plenty of upside room in here. We've made plenty of upside room the last two days for a nice little relief bounce if we can find some reason to be inspired to the upside. So watch that carefully here today. Our T2108 also relieved quite a bit of that frothiness that we've been experiencing here in the market, pulling back. And as you can see, if we look at the chart here, nothing really bad has occurred here. We have quite a little bit of price support in this area. If we can hold in this area, somewhere between here and maybe some of these high points in here, here, I still think we're going to be okay. Um, we need those. Uh, we need a good solid retest of some kind of uh, moving average support, and, and uh, particularly in the Dow, we have just extended, 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 and that's created this dangerous situation of these potential big point moves back down. So watch that closely. Now, 60%, 61% of the stocks holding above the 40-day is not bearish, so we still want to um, lean toward the side of the bulls in here if they can step up and defend some of these support levels and our t2107 also relieved a little bit of that pressure and you notice that this did really didn't get damaged all that much however follow through to the downside today could really create a lot more damage in t2107 but as you can see the percentage of stocks holding above the 200 day moving average holding in there uh 43 44 percent and we still have a nice level of price support in here that we could pull on back and still hold in that area and relieve some of that overbought pressure here in the market now our t2101 continues to act confused we continue to whipsaw in t2101 and the reason i think that is occurring is although we had that selling if you take a look at the spy um, notice that we're still relatively light on our volume here um, qqq relatively light iwm relatively light whoops um, relatively light on that volume so we're not getting that panic volume that we have typically seen in a sell-off that may be good for the bulls if they step up and defend but if we start breaking some of these support levels I would look for that bearish activity to pick up and and see some folks maybe running for the doors to protect um, their current profits so watch that pretty carefully let's take a look um, at some uh, uh, at our economic calendar here for today our economic calendar we've got a few things that we're going to have to be paying attention to and particularly as we slide into the end of the week with that uncertainty that we have in the market first we got mortgage applications that we know that those have continued to be a little bit of a problem for us um, even though um, rates have come down there just hasn't been a major desire to go borrow 
to buy homes um, right now. Home prices are beginning to fall. As you see, we've got productivity and cost. This will be an important number, probably the most important today to maybe provide some inspiration. So keep an eye on that. Um, we've got uh, petroleum status numbers. Um, energy has been pulling back due to demand destruction. Um, and not just here in the United States, but around the world. Um, we're having worldwide recession fears really creeping in and that demand destruction coming into play. So watch that number. Last time we saw a pretty substantial decline in supplies that helped hold those oil prices higher. If that trend continues, then we could see, um, uh, you know, those oil numbers um, respond back uh, to the upside after the last couple of days of selling. However, if those numbers were to start to show or building supplies here that that demand destruction is actually occurring, then we could see oil prices continue to weaken substantially. So watch that closely. Um, we want to think about um, planning forward into Thursday. We've got jobless claims. We've got a natural gas report. We've got some bond action in here. Obviously, we got some bond action in here as well. So relatively light day on Thursday, but everyone's going to be thinking about this number on Friday. And then, of course, the FOMC meeting next week with another rate increase on the way. Let's take a peek at um, our economic or excuse me, our earnings calendar for today. Now, our earnings calendar, we picked up a, on the number of earnings, but I got to tell you, probably not the kind of earnings reports that's really going to move the market a bunch today. Um, um, CPB might be, you know, one of the most notable um, on the day, and that is picking up here. We can see some of the, and this is a defensive sector um, stock. So defensive sector stocks, when the market sentiment is starting to get worried and we, we might be facing recession, we may see that pullback into defensive sector stocks, defensive plays, things that we're going to need, those staples that we're going to need even during a market downturn or a market recession. Um, those kind of things may be picking up and we're seeing a good earnings report apparently here on CPB this morning. So keep an eye on some of those defensive sector stocks. Um, you might take a look at um, AI, AI reporting today. We've got uh, Brown Foreman reporting today. Keep an eye on that. That's a nice bullish chart. Um, if they can perform well, we might extend on up here and test some resistance highs. Uh, we've got GameStop reporting today. Um, KFY will be reporting. Love is on that list today of notables. Looks like we got a little problem there in the furniture store. Uh, maybe not so much love there. Um, we've got, um, wow, Ollie's not finding any love here um, on the bargain outlet. Um, watch that close. Um, SPWH. Um, will be reporting today. This is a nice bullish pattern in here, albeit very volatile. Lots of wicks and tails in here, lots of whipsawing back and forth, but keep an eye on Sportsman's Warehouse today. Um, THO, THO, looks like that's picking up nicely here this morning. Uh, potential morning star type pattern setting up off of this nice trend for today. Watch that. Um, UNFI, reporting today. Looks like I'm um, going a little bit south here today and VRNT is about all I have on that list for today. And obviously uh, this could be a critical report if we were to fail um, this support in here and not hold based on those earnings, that could be a bit of a problem. So watch that close. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor, leave that brief, click that thumbs up button, leave that brief comment 
comment, and then share this video out on your social media feed. That also helps a ton. I want to apologize. Yesterday I got busy with a couple of meetings. I didn't get a chance to respond to the comments yesterday, but I'll be back on that case this morning. So thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that. I do truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a peek at some of these stocks and re remember guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you need to do your own due diligence. You're going to have to be very, very careful about the trades you take because of this uncertainty that we see in the market right now. And the pending news has really got this cloud over the market. Just we don't know what comes next. We're waiting for that next shoe to drop and anything is possible. So be very careful, plan carefully, and never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas. First off, let's take a look at our dollar. One of the things that's been affecting our market pretty substantially is the moves that we've been, the fluctuation that we've seen in the US dollar and the fluctuations that we have been seeing in bond prices. Now, as you can see here yesterday, we, we started down just a little bit and then by the end of the day, we had pushed up. We were testing some price resistance here in the chart. So if that price resistance holds and we start resuming that downtrend here in UUP, that would be helpful, probably bullishly helpful for the market. But we'll want to watch that pretty closely because it has been quite volatile. Now, having said that, when we start looking at charts um, in the market, um, this is also going to be affecting a lot of those charts and affecting how the market will respond. And as you guys know, I've been talking a lot, an awful lot about precious metals here lately. Gold and silver have been moving up in a pretty nice pattern and albeit a very volatile pattern, you can see that we possibly could be setting up this bullish upside trend here in gold. And if the dollar continues to weaken, watch for this level right in here. If this holds, we could easily see gold start to move up if silver, or excuse me, if the dollar begins to move down. Silver is another one I think worthy of keeping an eye on. Not only a precious metal, but an industrial metal. You'll want to watch as we pull back to this price support level in the chart. I'm noticing this upside trend. If we can hold in here, there may be opportunities coming up here in silver. Um, I've continued to mention copper as well. Well, and I tend to go to Freeport when I talk about copper, but copper may also have that opportunity to kind of hang on to a trend here, looking for some price support. So look for that next opportunity if, if that dollar continues to weaken. If that dollar strengthens, I would look for all of these stocks to find some failure patterns. Other places I think to look, uh, take a look at TTWO. If you are looking for um, uh, uh, stocks that are n not looking so good here. Um, overall, big hard move here in TTWO yesterday. Um, finding some resistance in the chart and then by the close of the day, breaking that little upside trend. So I wouldn't want to chase this short at the moment. If you're not already short, I wouldn't want to chase it. But what I would look for is any kind of rally back that produces a lower high. That would be a shorting opportunity in TTWO. Keep a close eye on that. You know, I've got to say the same about Apple here. Apple is not looking at all good. And I have a bias on this because I've um, we've been holding a position here in Rightway Options on Apple. We closed a big portion of that uh, trade yesterday for 46%. And as you can see, um, still moving in this downtrend. We may catch some support right in this area here in Apple, but Apple is running into those production problems and real big issues over there in China as they're looking to move their production out of China to another country. That can't be cheap. And um, a lot of issues starting to shape up here for Apple. So watch that closely if this continues. Um, and if this breaks this support, 
um, that could be a, a real problem here. Now, if we get any kind of a rally back that stays underneath that downtrend, I would look for that next opportunity to short here in Apple. And, then, and um, on the other side of the coin, if you take a look at stocks like NVIDIA, NVIDIA still trying to hang out on in here. Um, you can see this little upside trend may be fading here this morning and giving it up just a little bit. But watch for a little bit of price support at some of these levels in here we've got a pretty big level out across here that could pick that up as support watch it closely but here again this is just another one of those examples of why we have to pay attention to these big um, resistance levels in the chart we can be all kinds of bullish but if we ignore those resistance levels we set ourselves up for some ugly losses here um, in our chart so watch that closely now back on the bullish side keep a, keep an eye on TLT now TLT is something that again I have a bias on um, I'm long TLT this was one of my last alerts um, where I added to this trade and I added some more to this trade up in here and you can see that continues to extend to the upside so I'm pretty happy about this position as you might expect and I'm expecting to hold this longer term if I look at this chart on a weekly, you can see that longer term really hasn't quite set up here yet. We've got this stretch to the upside and now I need to see that consolidation or rest in here to set up that longer term pattern. And we're approaching some resistance here in that chart. Now that being said, I wouldn't want to chase this right at the moment. A little rest, consolidation or pullback and you'll probably see me add more to this trade. Uh, for that upside move. So watch that carefully. Um, there may be some opportunities here coming up in uh, TLT. So I would keep a close eye on that. So I'm running long here, guys. I apologize. Um, I need to cut this video off here so that you can get it in time. I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thanks so much for being here. Be careful, be cautious, be thinking, uh, watching these charts and looking at them for what they are, not for what you want them to be. Um, the charts are giving us clues if you're willing to see them. So with that, have an awesome day and I'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning.